Hey guys, let's see how to watch a security camera on a smart TV. Here I have four cameras already working with my Fire Stick. Here are some of the cameras, okay? The Tapo C216, Tapo C100. I have also a Mub View camera and they work in pretty fine. So I have the Fire Stick just here with me and my cell phone because the first thing that I have to check is if the camera is working with the app. Here, for example, I have a Tapo app. And as you can see, I can have different cameras working, Tapo C100, Tapo C200, Tapo C216. And when I come to the Tapo C100, for example, here I have the camera. And then I can just come here to the settings and advanced settings. This is specifically for this camera, okay? And then create here a camera account. And here I have the account information the username and the password. So basically this camera is enabled to work with my software that I have here on my TV. I'm gonna show you in a while, okay? And then I can do the same for other cameras like the Tapo uh, 100, for example, right? Or the Tapo C200, that's the one. It's the same here. When you come here to the advanced settings, you have the camera account for this one, Tapo C200, a different username and I have the password here already. So you just need to come to your camera and enable the account. And then the software can scan the network and find your camera. Uh, the last one here, for example, let me just uh, bring and talk about this MobView camera. It's also a camera that can work with your Fire Stick. So if I ha uh, come here to the MobView, then I have different cameras. Let me just come to this first one here on settings. You see that I have this on VIF settings, okay? It's a different menu, but basically I'm looking for this menu where I can create an account. See here that I have an account and a password. Okay, so simple, pretty simple. And then I'm good to go. So you can have different cameras working back there, of course. I have here a Tapo, a MobView and other cameras, but you can just look for uh, this option where you can enable an account. I'm just come here to the TV. Now I'm gonna show the software that I'm using. So here with the remote, remote control, I can come here to the top and show the software, the Tiny Can Monitor Pro. See here, it's a software that you can get on Amazon store and also work for the cell phone. If you have an Android, you can also install this Tiny Can Monitor Pro for Android. And here I have the live view and manage cameras. Then if I come here then to manage cameras, you see the different ones that I have here. I have the C100, this is a Tapo camera. Then I have the MobView camera, another Tapo camera. If I get into the menu here on the three dots, you see that I can edit the cameras here. The camera status, it's okay, so it's working. Then I have the camera name, brand, model. I don't need to touch anything of this. I just come here, you see, find the IP address. And I just enter here the username and password that I have there on my cell phone that I created back there on the app. Simple like this. So let me just show how it works. Uh, with this camera, for example, I'm gonna delete it, the top of C100. Then I can add the camera again. There we go, I just delete the camera. Then I have three of them only. If I come back here to the main menu, see live view, three cameras. The C100 is gone. And then let me just come back here and start from, from scratch, okay? Let's say you have your Fire TV working there. Then you want to have this software. Come here to the Find menu and then you go to Search, just right here. And you're gonna look for this application with this, the Tiny Cam. So just type here, Tiny C. And you're gonna find here the Tiny Cam Pro. That's the one that I'm using. Just go down here and I can find it here. Tiny Cam Monitor Pro. You can buy this from Amazon. And when you have it, you just click here, it's going to open. Just simple like this. Mine is just like this because I already have it with all the cameras, right? But we, when you open for the first time, you're gonna see something like this, just the menu. Then you can come here and scan the network. And you see that it starts finding the camera, okay? So here you see the IP address 10.0.0.100, 10.0.0.100, 10.0.0.100, 10.0.0.100, 10.0.0.100, 10.0.0.100, 10.0.0.100, 10.0.0.100, 10.0.0.100, 10.0.
10.0.0.166. That's the IP for every single camera. And then you need to have your TV and your cameras in the same network, okay? So basically your TV is gonna have an IP similar to this one, which will be 10.0.0. something, okay? You see here, 10.0.0. something, and here and here. So just make sure you have your TV and the cameras in the same network. So let me just come back here so you see better before you set up the software. Just come to your TV here just to make sure you're not gonna have any problem. Then you come to the network and here you see your networks, okay? So here I'm connected to this one, you see, that's my Wi-Fi. I just use this name to keep people away, okay? From my router so they don't try to connect. And then I'm connected to this one. That's the same uh, network that I use for everything here. For example, for my computers, for my cameras, as long as I have the TV connected to the same one, the TV is gonna have the correct IP and I'm good to go, okay? So if I come here, for example, and press this button here to check the network, I have all the information. So my TV is working pretty fine. And in advanced, I see here the IP address, you see 10.0.0. something, okay? You don't need to come here, just showing uh, that I have the same network for both cameras and TV, okay? That's the the idea here. So as long as you have it, you're good to go. So back there to the software, you have the software installed and it comes here to the apps, application and apps after the installation, you open it up. You come here to, again, to the scan network. Oops, not here. Come back there, scan the network. Then you scan your cameras back here. You see that start looking for every single camera. It comes from zero to 100% to find your cameras. Here, one of them I need to update, you see. That's the C100, I need to update the camera later, the firmware. And then I just need to check every camera that I want to add to my system, you see here. I already have the C200 there, so it's just going to uncheck here. And I'm gonna leave the C100 so, uh, only. And I just need to remember to update the camera later. But just for an example here, I'm gonna add this camera. So I come here to the add button, add the camera, and here we go. And I come back to the menu here on the top. There we go. And then manage cameras. First you add the camera, then you come here and you can set up the camera. The C200, C I just come here to the three dots. There we go, edit, and I don't change anything here. I leave the IP address, leave everything, just come to the username and password, and here I can insert them. Let's see here how the username there is Tapo with uppercase T. So make sure you have everything correct with the uppercase and lowercase. So I have Tapo that way in capital C and 100, double C 100. Next, okay, then the password. Here I have the password, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then next, okay. Come to the top and see the camera status here. See, that's okay. So basically, it's supposed to be working. So that come here to the main menu again and live view. Okay, so I wait for a while, it's going to load up here. There we go. Then I have all the cameras working. So I can just, you see here, the square, so I can select the camera that I want. This one, for example, is see the date here on the top. Then I just hit here and I see this menu. I can come here to the PTZ if the camera has a PTZ available. Then I can just do this with the remote control, you see? I'm controlling the camera, just using remote control. Of course, if you have a camera with a PTZ. And from here, you can see a lot of different things and come back here. And I can go to the next camera. You see the 216, which also has this option for a PTZ. So I come here to PTZ and I can control this camera as well. 
back and control again the next camera if I want to. This is also a PTZ camera. Let's just come down and control this one as well. There we go. A little bit of latency, but that's normal. It's working as well. So you see different cameras, different way to come here to the cell phone. For example, with the Tapu camera is a little bit different when comparing here to this MobView camera. Just an option here for on Viv settings on this one. You just need to look for the menu and find the settings on Viv settings or create an account. Just make sure that you have your cameras working with on Viv. You see here, for example, the Tapu has this option. This mob view, this once view also works with OnViv. Just choose your camera and you can have it working. Then here you can select any camera that you want, play with the camera and you're good to go. So you can have a layout like this, working with different cameras, different brands on your TV, okay? So pretty simple. That's the way you can watch security cameras on a smart TV. Works with uh, Amazon TV. Uh, also with the Fire Stick and uh, Android devices. For example, if, if you uh, want, you can install these cameras as well, or the software and see these cameras on an Android phone using the same application, which is again, it's this tiny Can Monitor Pro, okay? So just go there, get yours, you can install and make it work with your camera. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up in your comments, and I see you in the next one.